Hey everyone, I have my mega planner with me today because I wanted to talk about uh, the GU planner that I was going to be incorporating in here. This is a planner from Baumkuchen and I will link the video below where I do a flip through of this planner and show how it's laid out. So I bought this for the purpose of using as my homeschooling planner. So in here, I have all of the different planners I use. It's just in one giant cover and it keeps everything together. I've been using this for like over three months now and this format has worked so, so well for me. And then I have the planner pouch or the pen pouch that I use uh, that has all of the things I need to use in here. Uh, this is from Lindoc on Etsy. So I was going to start using this in June and obviously it's not in here because that didn't work out. So as June was approaching or as the end of May was approaching, I was getting ready to set this up. So it's undated, which is fantastic because now I can reserve this to use for something else in here. Everything is standard size, so I will easily be able to use this for one of these other setups. But as I was trying or attempting to set this up for homeschooling, I was, I was hesitant. Every time I was just about to mark it with my pen, I found that I was, I was pulling back. And I think the biggest thing was I didn't know if these weeklies, like the daily boxes in this weekly spread, were going to be enough room. This is a lot more room than I was previously in with the Traveler's Company weekly insert. But I still didn't know if this was enough. And then I got to the point where I just got frustrated enough that I thought, you know what, I am just going to make my own insert. And I, I don't know if that's like bullet journal-y, but I just decided to make my own because by this point I knew exactly what I was looking for and I thought maybe it's a little too much to try to force myself into a format that's already done. So I'll show you what I ended up coming up with. And I'm really glad I didn't mark in this because it's still a fresh planner and I can use it and date it for whatever I choose to do with it. So here is my homeschooling planner. This is, I don't know if you can see, but it's the Tomoe River Paper Kanso Sashi insert from Jet Pens. And I believe there's 120 pages in here, which is perfect. So I just have a, I'm not going to go through like, the ins and outs of our homeschooling. I'll just mainly focus on how I set this up. So this is just my color coding system on a post-it note, which are in here. So what I decided to do was I did the entire year. So technically our homeschooling year runs from June to uh, the end of May. So June through May, so this is the full year. And this is only a six month planner because I want to have, uh, I just want to have the year split up, you know, into the two semesters or whatever. So I put the full year overview, but the rest of this is just six months. So uh, this was in, this was in the Traveler's Company insert. It had an, uh, a spread like that. It might be in here too. Yeah, so it's in here too. I find that I, I kind of like having this. I don't always find it useful, but I obviously had this idea that I would plan the entire year tentatively. This is written incredibly light because it's actually in pencil. So depending on how things change or events that come up, I can just erase this and write it somewhere else. So this is just a tentative plan for me to be able to just look forward and have an idea, but it's not meant to actually stick to. So these green circles here, I've just highlighted the days that we actually schooled. So it's basically taking attendance. Uh, so I've only planned 
till July because we may have some kind of vacation here. Uh, so two months ahead is, is good enough for now. It is summer. We are homeschooling through the summer, but not like all the way through. But I won't get into all that. You know, we're just trying to do a little bit of catch up during the summer. So I have the full year here just at a glance. And then I went straight into the months. So I actually have just the six months goes to November. Yes. And I ended up doing this how I do my regular everyday planner where I did the layout in gray because I really like having this fall into the background. And when I write in black, it really pops out. So uh, that really works for me and I love doing that. So I did that. So here's June. What I ended up doing is I plan out the month. I only plan out one month at a time. So this is for way, way forward planning, um, which is tentative. And then I use that to plan out one month at a time. So I basically am just using these sticky notes. They're actually these. You can get them off jet pens, but I just plan out the month. And then what happens is on that day, I'll know that I need to accomplish these things. If I do, I will remove this and write it. And this basically serves as an overview for the lesson numbers that we've done in which curriculum and which book. So it's not a detail of like all of the little things that we covered or studied. That is reserved for the daily pages. So this is where I started. I have my color coding. And here, here's where everything else fell short for me, like this planner is this predetermined amount of space per day. So after the months, everything else is just blank. It's all blank paper. And when I need to write on it, then I will use the amount of space that I need. This is also how I ended up doing my regular everyday planner here. So like here is uh, one of my months and you know, it's got the gray layout and then everything is in black that needs to pop out at me that's important. And then the back pages are blank for all of my notes and I just get to use how much space I want to use and I don't know it works in here as well so obviously that is my happy place as far as a planner goes right now for for now two different planners so what I started doing is I would write the date and then this dash write what I needed to and then right underneath it go in with the next date I found this to not be enough separation of the day visually so it kind of looks like just a lot of stuff and that is why I started incorporating this washi tape so Robin at Talks from the Heart actually sent me a big strip of samples of all of these grids so I just put it in here because I think it works fantastically for that so now I can actually glance at this and have a really clear visual cue of each day so this is what I am doing and I've been loving it so far this last like week that we've been or that I've been using this. So that's what I'm doing. And I think maybe my thing will just have to be making my own planners, which is totally fine. Um, you know, once you figure out one month, it's easy to do the rest. So it's, it's not a big deal. And actually... This may be evolving even more in that I may not even need the months because the curriculum, we, I got a new curriculum and it comes with everything sort of pre-planned in these, you know, big sheets. And I'm thinking this stuff that I have to plan on my own, I can actually just put in there and have everything together because these are only two subjects. So I may just 
quit using the monthly spreads in here, maybe, or I won't be using it for this anymore. And this will mainly just become a journal type tracker for everything that was actually done in detail in here. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you <laughs> and let you know that uh, I didn't actually use the GU because I was a little bit apprehensive. So this, this is working out much, much better. I really, really love this insert. Uh, I've always wanted one. And, um, oh yeah, and I have a section back here for, for grades. I just give like math and spelling quizzes. So the last page is just reserved for that. But there's so many pages in here, you know, it's to my river paper, so it's really thin, but it, it's just such a nice thin notebook, even though there's over a hundred pages in here. So I just decorated it very simply, just added some cardstock to the cover and added my label. And that's that. I'm very, very happy in here. I'm glad to not be restricted in my daily space. And that is everything for me, I suppose. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.